Welcome to clickmemproject.com Here we are going to discuss about the cooperating virtual memory and write buffer management for flash based storage system. You know project mainly focus on the reducing wire activities and flash memory is an efficient way to improve the performance and the intrusion of flash memory. Management schemes on virtual memory have not yet considered the existing of WBC incubator in flash memory. In the in our base February we they propose the cooperative management schemes for virtual memory and write buffer to maximize the performance of flash memory based on the system. In this work they propose the CLC combined with FAP with buffer to the further improve the overall system performance by working with virtual memory management collaborative. In our enhancement we propose a new management scheme for virtual machine as well as WBC cooperative for plus memory based on system to reduce write activities and to improve input output performance. Hence, in this process we implement the WPC LRU and the PC LRU for VM management and WPC management respectively. This series organizer can implement it in VLC platform in the form of VHL language. Virtually Memory is a memory management technique that is implemented using both the hardware and software. It maps the memory addresses used by a program called virtual addresses into your physical address in computer memory. Main storage as seen as by a process or tag appears as a continuous addresses space of collection continuously as segments. The operating system manages virtual addresses and the assignment of real memory to virtual memory. Address translation hardware in the CBO often referred to as a memory management. Automatically translate virtual address to physical address. Softwares within the operating system may extend these capabilities to provide a virtual address with that can exit the capability of real memory and thus references more in memory than this physical present in this compare. A register is a small amount of storage available as a part of CPU or other digital process. Such register are addressed by mechanism other than the main me memory and they can be accessed more quickly. Almost all computers load store addresses are not load data from a larger memory into a register where it is easier to for automatic manipulator by some message instruction. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of our process. In our plan, uh, flow diagram represents the flow of our process. First of all we give the input to virtual memory and we write enable signals. The uh, virtual memory uh, not written into the uh, address information and the uh, how many pages are required uh, estimated first. Uh, in case of um, if we want pages increase uh, then update then uh, reason the data. In case of uh, pages required less than uh, to form the cluster the, uh, the cluster allocate the page uh, from the cluster output from allocate the each and every page it uh, represents the uh, data stored in a particular pages allocated the pages final pass into the output the uh, output is based on the our cluster formation in in case of we need particular output we just search the cluster uh, information now we are going to discuss about running procedure of our project. In our project we have four steps. First step we check the syntax error, then second step we generate the article schematic diagram, then third step we generate the technology schematic diagram, then finally we generate the simulation waveform. Now we are going to the first step. First select main function, then select sex index. Now we are going to check the syntax error of our program in case of any error and running the displayed in our console block. In our program, we have no error. Therefore, now we are going to the second step. Select view at a schematic and run that. Now we, uh, we are going to generate the at schematic diagram. Add and then create schematic. This is our overall at schematic diagram. The, the CMOS byte. LUT address, clock, clock set, RDLUT, reset, read, I, WS command byte. These all are all the signals are our input signals. Data, EPB, plus, LUT, T, data, byte, negative, uh, channel enable negative, output enable negative, reset negative, write enable, uh, WR enables, WEVP command out, plus, these all are our output signals.
प्लीज राइट दिस इज अवर इंटरनल आर्टियल स्मेटिक डायग्राम Now we are going to do the third star. Please select the Vital Technology Schematic Diagram. Then add, then create schematic. This is our overall technology schematic diagram. Now we are going to generate the internal block of our technology schematic diagram. This is our internal. Mm, yeah, technology schematic diagram in case of you want to zoom it please select particular line now we are completed uh, up to three step now we are going to the final step mm, in this technology schematic diagram consists of number of LUTs and flip flops then select simulation then select main function then select simulate behavior model and run it now we are going to generate the simulation waveform it is based on the our output signals first we give the reset condition set to 1 clock value set to 0 CS value set to 1 ramp pad set to 1 and CMT data will you give it any input values it is a 8 bit signal RLD LUT is value set to 0 then LUT address give it any randomized okay, it, is a, it is a 24 bit signals then we give the flash values and then give the RI value set to 0 ok now we are going to the running of our program then we give the now we change the input values RDLUT value set to 1 and clock value set to 1 and reset value set to 0 and run our program then I can change the clock values set to 0 then I can change the clock value set to 1 now we change the WCM pad value set to 0 and clock value change to 0 now we are change the values read LAT is set to 0 and run it then I can change the clock value set to 1 Now we got the our output waveform. This is our overview of simulation waveform. Now we completed our running procedures. Thank you.